Hi guys, welcome back to our next video. I'm gonna show you guys how to enable frame generation in most games. This is not for all games. This is only for games that support NVIDIA DLSS and DirectX 12, right? So this is not for every game, guys. But for most games that do support those two, DLSS and DirectX 12, you can enable frame gen in those games, right? DLSS is a frame generation just like FSR 3 but most people saying this is a better version of frame gen not everyone might think that but that's what most people are saying so I'll show you how to get an install and also if you don't know what frame gen is it basically it generate frames for you and it double your frame rate give you a smoother experience and what some people are saying online it's way it's a lot smoother than FSR 3 frame gen and in some cases depending on what game you're playing you get more fps and it's a lot more stable guys so let me get into it real quick and i'll show you what's going on all right so first things first you want to change make sure you set your sudo password I already did mine already but i'll show you where to go to do that because with the sudo password you need this so that i could install different type of applications and software on your steam os operating system right so now you just go to desktop mode all right, so when you're here, you go to system settings and then you want to scroll all the way down to you see user, right? You go into user, let's see right here. And then this is where you will change your password. I already set my password already. So you hit change password. Then you got to put your password in. You just press X to bring up a keyboard. You type your password in. You got to make sure both of them match and confirm the password and make it simple guys. Don't make it too complicated. Just make it simple. I don't think you have to put caps or anything like that. Once you finish, you hit set, and then you set the password, and you're up and running. So now once that's done, you want to go to the browser, which is Firefox, and you want to go to Decky Loader, right? So you just press X, bring up a keyboard again, type Decky Loader, hit search, then it should be this one right here. Then you hit download. Once you hit download, it should pop up up here somewhere, if not, you go to your files right there, then you go to downloads, and then you'll see it in here, right? You just click this, hit execute, then you put a pseudo password, then you hit OK, and once you put a password in, you should see a release. So make sure that's ticked. It should already be ticked already once you go to get to the next step after this, and then you just hit download, and then you should be good, guys. All right, so once that's done, you installed it, you close this out, you want to return to gaming mode. Once you're here, you want to open up this menu right here. You want to go down to the plugin. That's when you should see this plugin. See, it says Decky Frame Gen. I already have it, but now you just got to install it, guys. So you want to go to the store, which is this button right here. And you're going all the way down till you see Decky Frame Gen. So go all the way down till you see D. Right here. So I already got it installed already. Once you press install, you're going to install it. Then you just go back, open up here, and then you go to the plugin, the Decky plugin. Then you should see frames in, guys. So now, once you come in here, you have to install in here. There's going, it's going to say install right here. You got to press it, and it's going to install it to the system, guys. Once that's done, then you come down here. Press this button and you got to search for the game you're trying to patch, right? I already did Black Mint Wukong, but you can basically press on it. You would press on it, then you hit patch, right? You do another game. Um, I did Spider-Man as well. All right, so for Horizon Forbidden West, basically you press on like this. Then it would be like this, guys. Then you patch. And then, yeah, man, I want to do it. And it's done. She says launch option is set for Ryzen Forbidden West. Complete edition. You can now select DLSS game menu, right? So that means it's installed already. If I go back to Batman Wukong, it should be already be patched already. Let's try it one more time. And it's there, right? So now let's go back. So now let's head inside the game. Then you want to go to settings, go to properties, and you want to scroll all the way down. And here, this is the command right here. So as soon as you 
boot up the game, it will install DLSS to that game and then you could toggle it in the system and turn it on guys. So let's show you how, the, how it's performed with Spider-Man Remastered. So as you can see right here, the command is there. I'm on Spider-Man, so let's head back. All right, so let me show you my settings real quick. If you go to display and graphics, just gonna play an 800p so you guys can see the maximum FPS that we could get with this frame gen. You can see right now, top left, that's the way the FPSs are. I'm getting 131 right now on the menu. So if you scroll down, it's already on DLSS uh, frame gen. And I got DLSS uh, upscaler, which is super resolution. Let me just um, disable this real quick and show you how it is without frame gen first, right? And hit that and then hit save. I'm not sure with this game, the buttons is not showing on this um, SteamOS device, which is the Lenovo Legion Go S. But I already know, I played this game a couple times already, so I know what what's what. So I hit save, which is A. Let's go back, make sure it's saved. Yep, so it's off right there. And let's get into the game real quick and then let's see what's up. Um, before that, let me see. Yeah, so that's my settings right there and stuff like that. This video is not mainly about the settings, just to show you that this frame gen is actually working, right? So let's get into the game and then you guys can see what's going on. So this is me outside on top of a building. So I'll also do a comparison between this and FSR 3 frame gen so you guys could see if there's any crazy differences between it between them and um yeah so i'll do that i'll probably do a loss of scaling in there as well on the regular nova legion go and then you guys could see the difference right so right now frame gen is off i'm getting 76 i'm on low settings as well so keep that in mind so let's swing around for a little bit and i'll just keep saying this game is optimized for these systems especially on steam os so yeah um one more thing i want to show you guys too you want to make sure you have a uh, frame cap off but i'll show you that in a minute once i turn on frame gen so i'm getting 66 outside right so now let me go back and turn on dlss all right so now it's on and dlss super resolution is on as well so you're back hit save Head back real quick, and if you could also change the FSR 3 in here as well, you get me. But now we're using DLSS and it's on quality. You want to make sure VSync should automatically be off when you're using any type of frame gen, and you want to make sure frame cap is off as well. So let's open up this right here, and in here, so it says disable frame limit. You want to make sure this is toggled on so you can disable that. Go back and let's see if there's any frame cap in here and here yeah, so this is off as well so we should be getting the, the true amount of fps with this frame generator right all right so since it's on let's head back outside and see it went up to 105 95 so it's all over one 112 swing around for a little bit one it went up to 181 just now. All right, let's get in some combat up here real quick. Not going to be a full gameplay, guys, just to show you what's going on. Once I do the comparison between FSR 3 and the LSS, then you guys can see what's going on. Frames are on up and down. One hundred two, ninety-nine. Yeah, so it's actually working on this device, guys. You know I mean? So it's up to you if you want to try it out, see what's going on. And also, as I said, it's not compatible with every game. Only games that support DLSS and DirectX 12, right? So remember that as well. And you could do your research before you install it on the game, and you can also uninstall it. So let me show you how to do that as well. All right, so now to uninstall, the command if you not liking it for that game all right so you just go back to decal loader and then you go down to the plugin right here then you will go to the game you choose whatever game you install it on I think i did an ldavis 2 as well and then you put unpatch 
DLSS mod will be uninstalled next launch. So whenever you launch the game again, it will un uninstall it. So if you do install it and then it's game is giving you some type of issue, right? You can go in here, go to settings, you go back to properties, then you go to install files, and then you can do verify integrity of the files, and it will do re-download the game back and try and clean up anything that's left back from the patch that you just did. And then you should be good guys. So yeah, so that's basically it guys. Thanks for tuning in. And as I said, if you like like what I'm posting. Hit that like button sub to try for more awesome content guys and yeah so let me know if you've been using this so let me know what you think down below guys hit that like button if you like what i'm posting and sub to for more awesome content guys and remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in